Hey everybody, it's Chris with Willow Hikes. I am back and today we're going to talk about your sleep system. Specifically, we're going to talk about sleeping bags. There's two parts to your sleep system, sleeping bags and sleeping pads. We're going to talk about pads in another video. But so far we've talked about getting your backpack and now you're going to need something to sleep in. Um, and starting out, that's probably going to be a sleeping bag. So we're going to specifically talk about sleeping bags today. Now, what do you need for a sleeping bag? You need something that's going to be warm and comfortable. Um, and you can buy any kind of sleeping bags. They go from anywhere from 20, 20 bucks to like 600. Um, and starting out, we've talked about don't spend a lot of money. So you can get sleeping bags at places like Walmart, Big Five, uh, Dick Sporting Goods, um, REI. Um, depending on what you want to spend, you're going to get a sleeping bag of higher or lower quality. So, buying a sleeping bag. I'd suggest go to the store, try it out, get in it, put that thing on the floor, crawl into it. No, seriously. I've done this. Uh, feels a little weird the first time. Uh, you might get a little weird look uh, or two um, or 10 and that's okay. Uh, you want to try it out. You want to see if you're going to fit in this thing. I've had a few sleeping bags I've bought over the years. It, I just felt so constricted. Uh, there's no way I could sleep in those. Uh, I'm a little claustrophobic when it comes to sleeping uh, in a sleeping bag. So I want something that's roomy. You might, you might not. Um, but try it out, see what it feels like. So, things about sleeping bags that you need to know. Uh, first of all, there's different styles. Uh, most backpackers use mummy bags. Um, and these are shaped like a mummy. Uh, and then there's the old rectangular bags. Um, those work fine too, uh, depending on the weather you're in. So. If you're super claustrophobic, a rectangular bag is going to work for you better, um, but they tend to be a little cooler. Uh, so think about that. Um, in a mummy bag, uh, if you're like me, you kind of twist and turn a lot in your sleep. So uh, what I look for is a larger toe box. The toe box is the bottom of the sleeping bag. A lot of these are tapered to the point where they look like an asterisk. Um, and I can't handle that. I don't like having my feet completely constricted. So I had to shop around. I had to try a lot of bags out uh, to see what was gonna work for me. Um, so look at the toe box. Some of them are advertised as having a bigger toe box uh, if that's something you're looking for. Sleeping bags come in basically two varieties as far as what they're filled with. There are uh, synthetic bags and down bags. Uh, down is basically from duck or goose. Goose down generally being better quality. Um, I look for responsibly sourced down, which means they're treated humanely. Um, and that's a big deal to my values. Um, down is generally warmer. It compresses way, way down better than synthetic, so it uses less room. Tends to be a little heavier. No, no, that's not right. Tends to be lighter, way lighter than synthetic, although there's some great synthetics coming out now that are a lot lighter. Uh, the great thing with down, uh, once it's lofted up, keeps you super warm. Um, and synthetic uh, tends to be not as warm, or if it's as warm, it's gonna be a lot heavier. And we do talk about how you wanna go light out there, uh, but not so light that you're gonna freeze to death. You're not gonna freeze to death. You might freeze to death. So, we're gonna look at, do we want a rectangular bag? Do we want a mummy bag? Do we want synthetic? Do we want down? Uh, down bags are a lot more expensive. You can get really inexpensive synthetic bags and starting out, if you're on a budget, that's the way to go. They're gonna be a little heavier, but they're gonna work okay. Um, you wanna get something that fits you, something that you can afford, 
and uh, something that's going to meet your needs. Are you going just in the summertime? Or are you going to go in what we call the shoulder seasons, which is spring and fall when it gets a little colder? Um, so think about that when you buy your bag. There's not one perfect bag for all seasons. A, a bag that you're going to use on Everest is going to suck in the summertime. So another thing you're going to think about is how warm is this bag going to be? So generally a bag with a colder temperature rating is going to cost you more money. So, uh, temperature ratings on bags, um, 40 degree bags, 20 degree bags, zero degree bags. That number is the lowest limit as far as what you're going to be able to sleep in it. Now that doesn't mean a zero degree bag is going to keep you super warm at zero degrees. It just means that you're going to survive. You may be uncomfortable, but it's going to keep you alive down to zero degrees and you know, you're not going to die. You might die. No, you're not going to die. Um, so a zero degree bag, it's going to weigh more, it's going to cost more, and it's going to keep you warmer at cooler temperatures. A 40 degree bag, that's going to be good for summertime. And if it's 40 degrees out, you're not necessarily going to be super warm in it, uh, but you're, you're going to be okay. Um, if it's getting down to 50 at night, that's going to be perfect. I would say personally, a 20 degree bag is about where you want to start. That's going to keep you warm on cooler nights, but it's going to be appropriate for summer as well. You certainly want a warmer bag rather than a bag that's not rated so low and then go out into cold freezing weather and be miserably uncomfortable at night. So it's easier to zip it open and, uh, you know, if you're too hot, but if you're too cold, that's, that's not good. So look at temperature ratings. Um, look at the fill, look at, at the weight again, seriously, go get into a bag, try it out in the store. Not only is that going to give you the information you need to see if it works for you or not, it's going to get you all that attention you're craving on Facebook. Okay. Let's take a look at some bags. Would you say I have a plethora of sleeping bags? Oh yes, I would say you have a plethora of sleeping bags. Do you know what a plethora is? All right, so over the years, I've gotten a lot of sleeping bags, um, mostly because they were super cheap. Um, and I was trying to find something that would work for me. Um, the first things I had, not too warm. Uh, and I avoided the mummy bags for the longest time because of that foot room issue. But um, let's take a look at what I have here. I've got three main bags. Uh, right now, one I just bought recently just for summer trips. Um, but I found three in my garage that I used to use. Um, keep around for car camping or going on a trip with the grandkids. Um, so let's see what we've got here. So this bag, uh, I believe it is a Coleman bag. So you know, good car camping company. They have a lot of good stuff. And this is a bag. <laughs> this is a bag. Uh, I don't have a temperature reading on this. It's fairly heavy. It's synthetic. Um, it is a mummy. So apparently, so yeah, this is a mummy bag. Probably going to be a little warmer. Um, Coleman. So this probably cost, I would imagine, like 50 bucks. Um, seems like it'd be pretty warm. I don't know that I've ever used this. Next up, uh, this is going to be one of those one day sale uh, bags that I got at Big Five. And I do recall buying this years and years ago. I used this for quite a while because I didn't have a lot of money. 
Um, and I thought a mummy bag would be warmer, which it ended up being warmer than the other bag I had. Uh, this is also synthetic. It's not terribly heavy. Uh, something like this will probably work for you, especially if you're going in the summertime. This seems pretty warm. Um, again, I don't know the brand, uh, but it's from Big Five. Something like this, I think on a one-day sale, I got this for like, I don't know, 18 bucks. Uh, works great. I went on a lot of trips with this. I got pretty cold, but that had to do a lot, not just with the bag, uh, but also my sleeping pad. And we're going to talk about the importance of those um, because that's going to affect if you're warm or not. Um, but that's a different video. So another big five bag I got. Um, and this one I liked. I got it originally. Um, feet got a little cold and that's because this is a rectangular bag. Uh, but if you have like restless leg syndrome or something like that or you just feel claustrophobic in a mummy uh this works pretty good you can always wear socks uh, stuff some clothes down in the bottom if you get too cold in the feet um this is definitely not like something you take in the winter time uh but again this probably 12 14 dollar bag uh on sale so that worked so the bag I just recently got um, for summer trips, I wanted something that would keep me warm, but not something that's going to be stifling hot um, and also drop a little bit of weight. So this is a Kelty Cosmic 40. So it's a rated 40 degree bag. Um, got it on a great sale. Kelty has some really good uh, mid-priced bags, uh, lower end prices. Um, I was drawn to them because of the price, um, and because they're a good company. I, I just can't bring myself to spend $400 on a sleeping bag. Uh, if you can, awesome. Shop around. But, uh, this works really well in the summer. Uh, took this to, I believe the uh, middle sister in the three sisters wilderness in Oregon last summer and I stayed plenty warm now several years ago uh, I went with on a guided trip up Mount Hood um, and we slept in tents on the snow and I used my go-to bag there and I had a climate sleeping pad um, that sucked. I shivered all night. Um, what I didn't really realize at the time was that, that sleeping pad was just totally inappropriate, but I used a 20 degree bag and it got down to around 20. Um, I barely slept. I shivered the whole night. So this year, uh, I decided I was going to summit Mount Shasta and I remembered that experience, so I bought a zero degree bag. Also made some adjustments to my sleeping pad system, but zero degree down bags are expensive. They just are. Um, I mentioned in another video, my backpacking tent is from a company called Hike and Bike. Well, in the last year or so, they've started to make sleeping bags as well. And I found a great deal on this Hike and Bike zero degree bag. Um, this is the snow mass zero and uh, zero degree bag. So a good investment if you're going to be in the snow. Now my go-to bag has been this. I've had this for a couple of years. I found it through researching online. Um, I wanted a down bag. I never had a down bag. All my bags before were synthetic um, and I didn't want to spend Two, three, four, five hundred dollars for a down bag. So, uh, after some research and shopping and looking for deals, comparing prices, and I waited a few months before I bought this. Um, I got a fantastic deal on this bag. I love it. I've used it on almost every trip, and um, 
It's the Kelty Cosmic 20. So this is a 20 degree bag. It, again, it didn't keep me super warm on Mount Hood in the snow, uh, but you know, I've learned since then. But this has been a great bag. Uh, if it's too warm at night, zip it open or use it like a blanket. Um, but it keeps me nice and warm. It has a pretty good sized toe box, so I don't have that claustrophobic feeling uh, that I get in some of the mummy bags. And uh, I love this. And another tip. This was the previous se season's bag. It's pretty much identical to like the one that came out that year. Same model, same brand, uh, different color. So you can find some really great deals, uh, especially after the winter time um, or after the summer um, or whenever. I don't know when the new stuff comes out, but um, when it does, you're going to find past season things that, that are going to be super helpful. So the things to think about are, do you want a mummy? Do you want a rectangular bag? Okay. Um, there are quilts out there. We're not going to talk about that. You're starting out if that's what you want to go with. There's plenty of other videos about that, but I suggest get a sleeping bag, depending on your budget. Um, you can get those synthetics like I had. Uh, but anyway, rectangular or mummy, and then down or synthetic. Um, again, down's fantastic, except if you get down wet, you're going to have a miserable time. So, you know, Keep it dry if you get a down bag. Uh, synthetic is probably a better choice if you're just starting out, um, but it's gonna weigh a little bit more. Um, but if it gets wet, you're gonna be okay. You're not gonna die. I mean, you might die. And then temperature rating. Temperature rating is what we're looking for if you are going out in the cold, cold snow, if you're going up on Mount Hood, you, you wanna get a, like a zero degree bag. If you're just summer camping and you live in Arizona in the desert, um, you know, a 40 degree bag is gonna be perfect. Um, and then if you want something that's gonna meet all kinds of needs, uh, I do suggest start with probably a 20 degree bag. Uh, that's worked for me, I use this on 90% of my trips. So once you find that bag that works for you, um, that's one less thing. And then in the next video, we're gonna talk about sleeping pads. So um, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.